This is Addicted, standing in front of an administrator on Minecraft's biggest server. Many players work for weeks only to earn $100 worth of coins. Adding up everything Addicted has at this moment, it's worth more than $45,000, and he's about to lose it all. But this wasn't the first time Addicted lost tens of thousands of dollars worth of illegally obtained items. In fact, it's happened over and over and over. Welcome to the journey of Addicted, a player who broke every rule, crossed every line, reached the top, and then watched it all crumble down. Addicted's story, like so many others, began with Skyblock, Minecraft's biggest minigame. Addicted started playing in early 2020 and got into fighting dragons. Dragons are one of Skyblock's many custom features, and Addicted was addicted. While school was out, he grinded upwards of 16 hours a day, along with some friends he made in the guild 1MS. These included a couple of notable names, like Runix Ven, Oblak, Pogsol, Darky, and Shiro. Addicted was banned from the server for building something inappropriate, so his friend Darky gave him the underscore Dark1E account to play on. In May of that year, the server released a test network called Skyblock Alpha, where people could acquire infinite coins and items to help find bugs and glitches. Addicted's 1MS band joined and purchased hundreds of millions of items using this Monopoly money. They did this through Skyblock's player shop, The Bazaar. It was an innocent thing, of little consequence, but when they joined the main network, Addicted was astounded to see hundreds of millions of coins worth of items. Their Bazaar orders transferred, meaning Addicted and his friends accidentally generated over half a billion coins from thin air. They were contemplating what they were going to do with this newfound wealth, when Addicted's co-op member, Shiro, received a message from Simon Hypixel, the owner of the server himself. Simon told Shiro that he and Addicted needed to dispose of all of the illegal items, as they never should have been created. Normally, dupers, people who abuse duplication glitches to create items or coins, are banned from the server and have their profiles wiped. But Simon knew Addicted didn't do this intentionally. so. He sent one of the server's lead administrators, Plank, to oversee their disposal, so they tossed 600 million coins worth of the valuable summoning eyes into a pit of lava. After this, Addicted went back to fighting dragons, but he kept thinking about what had happened. He and his friends had their hands on untold riches, but with the admins watching so closely, there was no way they could have kept it. That being said, a single glitch in the code meant he was able to create millions of coins in seconds. And so, Addicted realized the game was fragile, as long as you knew how to abuse it. Since at this point he didn't know of an easy way to break the game, Addicted went back to fighting dragons. Over the next few months, he earned about 250 million coins doing this before losing it all. On top of being a Skyblock player, Addicted was also a big fan of Fortnite, so he was intrigued when he saw someone talk about Fortnite cheats. He downloaded the file and installed them, only to have his entire computer hacked. Addicted downloaded a remote access Trojan, or RAT. With complete control of his computer, the hacker changed Addicted's passwords and he lost access to the Darky account. Addicted learned two lessons from this. First, Never download files from someone you don't 1000% trust. Second, it only takes a single file to get access to someone's entire account. Now at rock bottom, Addicted didn't know what to do. That is, until he met someone that would change the course of his Skyblock career. One day, Addicted joined a voice call with a player named 3G9. 3G9 was screen sharing himself on Skyblock while cheating with a hacked client, and he was earning millions of coins using illegal programs. One of them was nuking, a process of mining tons of blocks at the same time. To anyone watching, someone nuking is a blatant sign that they're hacking, but Addicted was astonished. How can you cheat so much without getting banned? 3G9 told him, it's easy. You just have to know how to do it. 3G9 took Addicted under his wing and taught him how to nuke while mining and farming to earn incredible wealth. 3G9 even shared the specific scripts Addicted could use to cheat. Now, the only thing he needed was an account. 
Addicted went to his friend Shiro, who hooked him up. Knowing how to cheat effectively, Addicted got into a routine. For the first 8 hours of the day, he'd nuke Endstone during online school. After this, he would nuke farming. I swear, this man was chronically online. He was playing 16 hours a day straight, and then put a foraging macro on his account, which would farm trees automatically without needing any input. As a result, his account was earning money and leveling up for 24 hours a day. Skyblock's different skills are tracked with the XP you earn, and Addicted reached number 10 in mining XP and number 5 in foraging across the entire server. At the same time, he maintained about half a billion coins in net worth. Going into this, he always knew it would be risky, but I guess 3G9's methods weren't foolproof. Addicted's account was wiped. He was back at square one, though not exactly. Darky, the original owner of the account Addicted lost from the free Fortnite cheat situation, was able to retrieve the account. They logged in and surprisingly their Skyblock profile and items were untouched. I guess the dude who stole the account didn't know about Skyblock. By the way, if you want to see more videos like this in your feed, press subscribe. Also, if you're looking to get more productive and do well in school without having to put in a massive grind, I'm launching a Discord server for gamers trying to level up their lives. Every day I'll be sharing tips and protocols that helped me, and it'll be a place for you to discuss strategies and find accountability with others like you. It's the top link in the description. Back on Darky, Addicted grinded out stats, but he was still in poverty. Last time he was in dire straits, he learned how to cheat from 3G9. So, who better to turn to than the cheating master himself? While Addicted was busy getting banned, 3G9 was busy getting rich, and he was doing it with a method far more malicious than macroing. 3G9's new method of illegal wealth acquisition was ratting, and it was earning him billions of coins. He was lacing files with malicious code that would steal people's Minecraft accounts. Having been a victim of ratting himself, Addicted knew exactly what 3G9 was doing, and how powerful it was. Rather than earn coins by farming, why don't you let other people do the work and then steal it from them? There are popular mods on Skyblock, like Skyblock add-ons or SBA, which have features that enhance the gaming experience. However, several of these are behind a paywall. You need to spend a couple dollars to access them. Addicted, knowing these mods were in demand, created a fake Skyblock add-ons mod with 3G9's help. He then joined various guilds and Discord servers, telling people he got access to a free version of SBA. Ratting wasn't very common, so Addicted was able to hand this mod out like candy. I don't know how many people's gaming experiences Addicted destroyed, but he and two friends were able to steal 25 billion coins between them. Always after that Skyblock bag, Addicted switched things up when a new money-making method came around in early 2021, scripting. Addicted already had some experience in this field from 3G9, but what some people were doing was a completely new ball game. Scripters use programs to play Skyblock without the need for player input, but on a scale never before seen. Rather than load one account like Addicted was doing, these guys loaded as many as they could. So, Addicted hopped on the scripting train and set up five accounts that would farm 24-7. This generated him half a billion coins every single day. Suddenly, in one 24-hour period, he was making more coins than he did across six months of fighting dragons. With this, he now faced a new problem. He had more coins than he knew what to do with. To solve this, Addicted turned to IRL trading. IRL trading is the act of buying or selling Skyblock coins, items, or accounts for real-life money. Addicted started selling his coins, and at the time, people bought them at a rate of 10 cents per million. So, Addicted made $400 off his first sale by transferring 4 billion coins to someone. In order to find the buyer, he joined different IRL trading Discord servers. He saw how they were set up and thought, I could do it better. So, Addicted approached a friend of his, the coder and exploiter, Riceblades11. Addicted brought him a proposition. How about we make our own coin shop and sell a Skyblock client at the same time? Riceblades was in. Using some of 3G9's code as a base on top of writing his own, Riceblades created something called the CBT client, 
cheats anyone could buy to do the scripting Addicted profited so much from. These were designed to make players mine forever, farm forever, harvest forever, and make tons of coins with zero work. They set the price at $25 each script, so if you wanted to do mining and foraging, you'd need to drop 50, or you could buy the bundle with everything for 100. Addicted advertised the CBT client with YouTube videos. He posted things such as how to max every skill in Skyblock with the least effort, which received almost 3,000 views, and how to get foraging 50 completely AFK which has over 20,000. These advertisements were pretty effective, and between the coins addicted and rice blades were selling, and the people buying the CBT client, they each raked in a couple thousand dollars. All was going well, except addicted was selling coins Bruh. off his main account. So, addicted was caught, the darky account was wiped, and he lost $2,500 worth of Skyblock coins. This was Addicted's first time losing thousands of dollars in a single moment, but it certainly wouldn't be the last. When the shop's Discord server was terminated, Addicted and Riceblades ended that saga for good. With no account, Addicted turned to his friend Pogsoul, who gave him access to the Pogsoul account. Back at zero once again, Addicted was ambitious to level up his new account and create tremendous wealth. When Riceblades found a duplication glitch, Addicted formed a new plan. How is he going to take over the world? Bazaar crashes. The Bazaar is Skyblock's marketplace where people buy and sell items, and the price of these items is based on supply and demand. At the time, the most expensive items on the Bazaar were the newly released Gemstones, which sold for upwards of 10 million coins each. Addicted placed buy orders for thousands upon thousands of gemstones at a really cheap price. When Riceblades created thousands of gemstones and instantly sold all of them to the bazaar, Addicted's order was filled. Of course, Riceblades' duping account would get banned, but the admins couldn't remove all the gemstones that were just introduced to the economy. This meant Addicted, on the Pogsoul account, was able to get his hands on thousands of gemstones for super cheap gemstones he could liquidate over the next few weeks, which would profit him billions. The first time Riceblades did this with a lobby crash duplication glitch, Addicted was able to walk away with 15 billion coins. Just two days later, another duper pumped 150 billion coins worth of ruby gemstones into the bazaar, profiting Addicted 10 billion. Then there's this video here, loot from one year of Topaz minions. The only issue is, there are no Topaz minions in Skyblock. The guy who pulled this off, Infuriation, told Addicted he was planning to crash Topaz, so Addicted placed buy orders and gained 25 billion coins. Halfway through the month, Riceblaze 11 crashed the bazaar with another duplication glitch involving brewing stands, netting Addicted 150 billion coins split across two accounts. A couple days later, a stash from that same glitch allowed him to make another 75 billion. But Addicted wasn't the only person profiting from these bizarre crashes. He had competition. In the world of Hypixel Skyblock, few names stir as much intrigue as 2NFG. You see, the egos of Skyblock players cannot allow someone else to be better than them. Because of this, Addicted and 2NFG entered into a war to see who could get the highest net worth. 2NFG was gaining hundreds of billions of coins and came up with a strategy to take Addicted out for good. In order to do this, he had to call in the cavalry, the only person powerful enough to take Addicted down, Dafty. Dafty is a Skyblock legend who has found an incredible number of duplication glitches. On the eve of November 26th, 2021, another duper named Squeezelord started the Amber Massacre, and 2NFG and Dafty stood in wait. When it was over, Squeezelord sat to observe what he had done. He single-handedly caused the biggest bizarre crash Skyblock had ever seen, pumping more than 2 trillion coins worth of Amber Gemstones into the economy. Those gems wouldn't return to their normal price for over a year. Meanwhile, Addicted was blooming. He netted over 100 billion coins of gemstones, and by now his net worth was over 300 billion. It's so much that an anonymous buyer came to Addicted and offered him more than 10 thousand dollars of real life money in exchange for Pogsoul. Addicted denied this offer. With his hundreds of billions, things could not have been better. That was until the very next day. 
Every time a duper crashes the bazaar, the admins close it to try and reverse the damage. With the Skyblock player base still shaking from his previous venture, an hour after the bazaar finally reopened, Dafty struck. 2NFG knew Addicted was going to take advantage of this, so he went to Time Dio. 2NFG told Time Dio that Addicted and his friends were making hundreds of billions of coins from these bazaar crashes, and Time Dio forwarded that message to the administrators. This was before Time Dio himself became an admin, because if he was, he could have done the investigation and wiped Addicted himself. Nevertheless, the admins, upon receiving word from Dio, locked Pogsol with an in game ban until they could figure out what was going on. Addicted, knowing he had minutes before his account was wiped, realized there might be a way to salvage some of his wealth. He understood if he logged into the Darky account, kicked Pogsol from the co op that had their stashes, then he might be able to save Darky from getting wiped as well. And so, he set out to do just that. Was able to do it with just moments to spare. Pogsol was wiped, losing Addicted $10,000, but Darky and his stashes were saved. Normally when a player is kicked from the co-op, their items can be salvaged, but this could not be done. When Addicted tried, he got the message, you cannot salvage this player, because they were banned too hard. On the co-op, Addicted was able to save 150 billion coins, but there was one problem. He had terrible stats. An account with terrible stats and insane net worth is bound to attract suspicion. So Addicted started grinding, trying to level up his account to something that could decently justify his astronomical wealth. He even grinded out some Slayer bosses with the admin Skiers, who was none the wiser of Addicted's illicit source of money. With his salvaged hundreds of billions, Addicted was once again offered $10,000 for the Darky account. Once again, he declined it, but he would very soon come to regret this decision. With Darky wiped, Addicted was now down $22,500 and starting from scratch all over again. The admins keeping an eye on the bazaar and the supply of duplication glitches running thin, Addicted returned to the only reliable source of wealth creation that was fast enough for his ambitions. While he was scrolling on YouTube, Addicted saw someone advertising a Skyblock mod in the description of the video. He recognized that mod as a rat and realized he could do the same, leverage his YouTube channel as a means to steal people's accounts. He placed a rat in the CBT client and got to work. He imagined these videos would get a couple thousand views, and he was right. Kind of. How to kill revenants, completely AFK. 2,000 views. How to kill void glooms in 2 seconds. 3.1 thousand views. But what happened next was beyond Addicted's wildest expectations. CBT Client, the new best Hypixel Skyblock cheat. 17 thousand views. How I duped 25 trillion coins. 17 thousand. How to get infinite dojo points in the nether update. 18 thousand. These ratting videos caused thousands of people to download the rat, and Addicted was able to steal over a trillion coins, including coins from the accounts of top players. Addicted told me if he combined the net worth of all his accounts at the time, he'd have been number one across the whole surfer. Still, it's super difficult to transfer coins without getting caught, and Addicted lost hundreds of billions to admins wiping his accounts. Even though Addicted was now sitting at over a trillion coins in net worth, he didn't want to sell it. Instead, he wanted to do something that has never been done. Create the perfect Skyblock account. However, a perfect account would have perfect stats, skills as high as the number one players, and a trillion coin net worth. This can only be achieved through incredible dedication and of course, duping. Addicted set out to create this perfect account, but then disaster struck. Even though he was sitting at a trillion coins, he wanted more, always more. 
So when Dafty went around telling people to invest in gemstones because he was planning to crash them, Addicted did just that. On the Astilla Prime and Mouse Odious accounts, Addicted gained close to 250 billion coins worth of gemstones, which made each of those accounts worth over $10,000. But this time, the admins had enough. Not only did they wipe Addicted and his alternate accounts, but they also wiped hundreds of top Skyblock players who had profited from Dafty's duplication glitch. This event was dubbed the Great Gemstone Massacre for how many people were taken out because of it. With all the accounts he had lost, Addicted was down the equivalent of $50,000. It seems whenever Addicted is back at square one, he turns to theft. Not many people were falling for the ratting anymore, so he came up with a new plan. Exit scamming. This is when trusted members of the community leverage their reputations to hold items, coins, or accounts, and then steal them. Doing so forsakes their reputation, but that's the dark price to pay for all this profit. With Exit scamming at the top of his mind, Addicted went somewhere he knew would be particularly vulnerable. The Wildism coin shop. People went to Wildism's coin shop to buy and sell coins and accounts for real life money. Wildism ran it, with a couple trusted managers helping. Addicted found out that Wildism was going on vacation for two weeks and wouldn't have access to Wi-Fi. So, he approached the managers who would be in charge during that time. Addicted brought his idea. He would offer people a lot of real life money to buy their accounts, and use the wildism managers as the middlemen. The account owners would then give their details to the shop, which is standard procedure for an account sale. But in this scenario, Addicted wouldn't send the money, and the managers would steal the account, profiting tens of thousands of dollars worth of Skyblock coins and thousands of dollars in real life. However, you can never trust a rat. Addicted betrayed the managers too and stole everything he could from them. In the end, he left with $8,000 of real life money and tons of accounts, including Pogsoul with no underscore, worth 100 billion coins or $10,000, Atero worth 50 billion or 5,000, and Pablo worth two and a half thousand dollars. Even with this, Addicted wanted more. He could never satiate his hunger for Skyblock wealth. Thinking back to the success of those CBT client rap videos, Addicted started to record another one. He put on some music and set out to record a fake duplication glitch with the intention of uploading it, saying you need his CBT client to perform the glitch. When headlines by Drake came on, Addicted started the fake duplication glitch where he was swapping profiles, only to discover a real duplication glitch. The chances of this happening are absurd. Addicted knew he could get a perfect account with the stuff he ratted with this new duplication glitch. So he formed a dupe group with some friends and the well-known glitch hunter, Simple Origin. They got access to the accounts of some of their friends and made many insanely large stashes. Addicted also created countless hypermax accounts, all holding over 500 billion coins. If he added all of these accounts together, their net worth totaled more than 20 trillion. Based on the price of coins at the time, Addicted and his friends held 200,000 real life dollars worth of coins and accounts. Of course, it would be impossible to sell everything, but based on the highest offer Addicted ever received on a Hypermax account, he estimates all of these accounts amounted to $125,000 worth of sales. At the top of the world, it's a very long fall to the bottom. One night, Simple Origin drank a little too much funny juice and gave some of his gemstones to a viewer in Nexus Up Next's livestream. No. Don't do this, bro. Your account's gonna get beamed. Oh, is no. duped. Oh, no. oh, he did it! Oh, my oh God. no way! No. Oh my God, no. he had to sold. No, no, you're crashing! <laughs> that viewer instantly sold all of the gemstones to the bazaar, crashing the market. The admins checked the logs and saw that Simple Origin's account, the source of the gemstones, had done tons of profile creation and swapping before this. From that, they were able to figure out how the dupe was done and wiped Simple Origin's account, Addicted's, and all of his friends. This makes Addicted's losses total over $150,000. Addicted still had some cash from the ratting and the wildism exit scam, and he wanted to come back to the game. He spent $5,000 buying some new accounts when a friend told him about a new duplication glitch. 
This dupe involved ghost players, and Addicted created about 100 billion coins. The guy who discovered it originally made a video about it and posted it publicly to YouTube, which of course led to it getting fixed. Addicted, as well as many other abusers, were banned and wiped. Addicted didn't have to bemoan his situation too long, though, because another friend of his came to him with another duplication glitch. These dupers take advantage whenever they can, because they never know when another opportunity will come, no matter the circumstances. This guy was on vacation, but was still going ham. And so, Addicted created 3.5 trillion coins across different accounts. I've been saying this stuff so casually, but it's still pretty hard to believe how powerful these glitches actually are. Just to show it though, there's this video from Infuriation. How to turn 15 mil into 3.84 bill in 6 minutes and 4 seconds. Because prices dropped due to inflation, everything Addicted created was valued at $17,500. The hype train crashed when the friend who discovered the dupe sold the method to various coin shops. With so many people knowing it, it was bound to get patched. And it did. Because he had lost so much and no longer had an unwiped account, Addicted stopped playing the game for a while. That is, until he got a DM. Some random IRL trader messaged Addicted with a login to an account. The trader asked if Addicted wanted to buy it for a couple thousand dollars. The trader's big mistake was he gave the account without collateral. And so, Addicted did what Addicted does and he stole it. As it turns out, it was one of the top 50 accounts in the game, holding tens of billions of coins. With this account, he added the wiped but unbanned Pogsol account to the profile and instantly took out 60 billion coins from the bank. This caused him to get flagged and the admins wiped him. So that's another $5,000 account gone. Because of this, he pretty much quit the game for good. August 2023 the Hex dupe. The Skyblock exploiter Enderflame was messing around with the Hex, a feature that allows people to apply enchantments to their weapons. With the Hex, Enderflame managed to get his hands on a duplication glitch, but it could only be done with items that can be applied through the bazaar, the most valuable of those being Wither Scrolls and the Chimera enchantment. Enderflame went to Addicted, and Addicted knew. This was it. This is when he'd do it. He'd finally be able to create the perfect account, but he'd have to do it carefully. Addicted assembled the Dark Avengers of Exploiting. He brought the 1MS co-op back from the dead. Their plan was to transfer wealth to the account SkyXYY. That was the account they would make perfect. These Dark Avengers knew if someone started selling duped items in mass, it would set off major red flags, and the admins would immediately ban them. So, they created a new strategy to fly totally under the radar. Lowballing. Lowballing is when rich players create the skyblock equivalent of pawn shops. They'll underpay for cheap items in exchange for fast cash and resell those items for profit. If Addicted lowballed a duped item for cheap to Sky XYY and Sky sold it, it would look legit. Even if they were investigated, they had to make sure everything looked legal. So they had a rule. No stashes because they knew if an admin saw a dupe stash on their profile, they'd be instantly wiped. That was still in the cards if an admin looked too closely at their trades, so the group had to make sure no one ever had any reason to. Acting slowly, the Dark Avengers duped hundreds of billions of coins worth of items and lowballed them over to Sky. Over the next six months, Sky was able to get up to 300 billion coins of net worth. But that's when everything went wrong. Someone who knew the dupe sold it to Noth, the player who owned the number one net worth account across all of Skyblock, along with 20 other Hypermax accounts worth $50,000. Addicted's co-op had to figure out what to do. They fully understood that Noth knowing the glitch was a major liability. They decided if he messed things up, they were going to do everything they could to take him down. Noth himself assembled a group of players and they started selling Chimera 5 Daedalus axes. Across a one month time span, they sold hundreds of axes, profiting a trillion coins. This increased the supply so much that the price of axes dropped tremendously. The demand could not keep up and the price kept dropping. By this point, enough people knew the dupe that it might get patched any day. When the hex was disabled, 
Addicted knew the gig was up. To keep his promise to take Noth down, Addicted went to the only person powerful enough to do that. so thoroughly investigated the Duke that he wiped every single one of Addicted's accounts, his friend's accounts, and the lowballers who didn't even know they were profiting from duped items. The value of all the accounts Addicted lost across his entire Skyblock journey is close to $225,000.